Okay, welcome back to the C-Sharp.net Nuggets. These are things that you may not have known existed. Um, they are little tiny hidden gems within the newer versions of .NET. Uh, newer meaning greater than 2015, not the original part of .NET Visual Studio. Okay, so what we've got here is a very simple console application. And notice that we're not using any using statements up here. We're doing the whole namespace right here with this system.console.writeline and system.math.square root. So the first little tip is if for, if you were to write something like this, con, you know that there's a console.writeline or something, and it, but you, you, it's squiggly, right? Because there's no reference to it yet. There's no using statement. So when you see that squiggly line, you can put your cursor on top of it and go Alt, Shift, hold down the Alt and Shift, F10. And guess what pops up? .NET is going to try to find the missing reference for you. Let's do that again. Cursor on the squiggly line. Save. All right, there's no squiggly line. I don't know why, but it should be there. Alt. Um, what you can do is do a build, build, rebuild. Okay, there's a squiggly line. Because it does not know what console is, we, we don't have a using statement up here. Put your cursor on it, Alt, Shift, F10. There it is. You click on, you click on the reference and up it pops. That's a very useful little uh, nugget for you. Now we're going to go a step further because what we're doing is using static using statements. So now you notice this is grayed out. We don't need this anymore because it's up here, right? It's part of the namespace. We don't need this either. So we've got two right lines and to demonstrate even further, we have a math.square root. All of them use system. Now, using static using statements, we can get rid of all the static methods within what we declare up here. So watch this. I'm going to declare using static system dot console. So system dot console has, let's see what has, what it has. Okay, so it's got write and it's got write line and all of these methods that might be static in here. And this should go away. So what happened is that we have a squiggly line here. We no longer need this because we are using static on the top. Notice how we got rid of that and we got rid of that too. And, but guess what? We're missing system now because we're using static system.console, so system. And now we're good again. But notice we got rid of the console dot. And now you can use right line. You can use anything static from system.console now that we've declared it at the top. So there there would be everything else too. Right. Right is another method that you could use. So alright, so we've proven that. What if we got rid of something else? Just to go a step further, let's get this nice and neat. If square root were static method, that means you don't have to create an instance of it, by the way. Static methods, you don't have to create an instance of. They're static objects, you don't have to create an instance before you use them. Okay, so if we were to do, guess what? Using static system.math, now all of our math functions can also just be referenced without having to do the math dot. So what else does system.math have? I don't know, so I'm going to look. System.math dot round. Round is another one. Round what? 3.33, round that. OK. Um, I'm not actually going to use it, but guess what? We don't need system.math anymore. We can just do a round. So double, what is it, decimal. And I'll declare a variable y equal to round it up to round. What does this bring back? This brings back a double. So we're going to round note, and now we don't need, this will compile, and we don't need anything that's gray you don't need. So look at what we got rid of. We got rid of console.console.math.math. You can get rid of a lot of code and make it look nice and neat by using the static using statements.